Okay, I'm going to try and do <laughs> a brief tutorial of um, some simple adjustments for portraits um, using Corel Aftershot Pro, which is essentially the same program as Bibble 5. So if you're using Bibble 5, most of your stuff will be the same. I was inspired to try this out after looking at uh, the effects of Lightroom's Iris Enhancement Tool and noting that I didn't have one in Aftershot. So. I've got my portrait here that I want to work on and there's a couple things I want to do. I want to do just the eyes and make them a little more vibrant but I also want to fix the uh, focus issue that I have. It's sharp along this edge of his face and back here in front of his ear and um, I'd really kind of like to get some more sharpness on, on the part that is out of focus in front. So what I'm going to do to do that is add a layer. If you're using Bibble your layer manager will be on the bottom left. I'm going to add an adjustment layer and I'm going to use the curve. I'm just going to start up here, clicking to add points. I'll leave his left eye alone because I think that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to try and grab all of those bits of his face that I feel the focus is just not quite sharp enough. Um, what I like to use is Wavelet Sharpen, which is a free plugin. It's now getting a free plug click on the hand and we see the effects. Oh, oh, looks pretty good. Balances out a little more. It's not as obvious that I did such a bad job focusing for this shot. And, uh, and we're ready to move on. So we're going to add another layer. Adjustment layer number two. And I'm going to pick his eye. I like to use the brush tool for this. It's just a little bit easier. A little bit lazy. I don't like to fiddle with the feathering. And so I'm just going to paint as much of this eye as I can. If there's something I want to leave, it's a little bit of a dark, well, it's a little bit of a dark edge, um, and uh, around the edge, rather than uh, painting over and highlighting parts of his eyelid, that's uh, not really going to work for me. So. What I'm going to do is just paint over the whole thing, and while I'm doing this, I like to have the um, Show Strokes box enabled right here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to paint the whole thing in, make sure we get it all covered. If you go over, you can just hit that, that little arrow there, and then everything you touch will be it's showing it in white there, but it's going to subtract the uh, everything it touches from the already painted area. And make sure you get it all. Um, it does feather the edges uh, based on your intensity here, so if you've done like I did and painted around the middle and missed spots, it's, you might get a little bit of funny color when you make your final adjustment. Uh, now, that's not really the effect I was going for. So I'm going to get rid of that show strokes, and um, I'll have to do just perfectly clear. Boom. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for that eye for now until I see what the other one is. Add another layer. Zoom in. Get the eye I want to work on. Decrease my brush size. This one's a little grainier, a little coarser because it was out of focus. And uh, I've used the wavelet sharpen. Um, it, it could probably get better, but I don't uh, necessarily want it to. Mm -hmm. The overall feel of the photo is fine for me. So you'll notice in this one when I go around with the brush, it's, it's kind of got the, all those gaps in the middle, so it's important to fill all those in, I think. I'm by no means an expert. I'll just use a bigger brush and get all those middle bits. There we go, get rid of the show strokes, back out we go, hit perfectly clear, and there you have it. This one seems a little bit brighter to me, I'm not sure that's what I want, so I'm just going to bring the exposure down, get a half stop, mm, too much, there we stop down the exposure, and uh, yeah, I like the overall effect. Of course using layers you can adjust them on and off as much as you please. 
So you can go back and see your original photo. Dull eyes. Missed focus. Fix the focus, fix the eyes, and uh, it's, it's a better portrait already. And of course, you can crop it in a little tighter to get exactly what you want. And it's all easy and all done with layers.